Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove a tire pressure monitor sensor that is appearing on your dashboard. And of course, I'm going to be using my Innova 5610 scan tool to complete this task. Now, for the vehicle that I'm using for demonstration purpose, I am using the 2013 Scion FRS. So this vehicle, I do not need any special connector. It takes an OBD2 connector. So it's very simple just to hook on my Innova onto the OBD2 port. And then I can go ahead and readjust that code and I will show you guys how to do so. So let's get started. So before hooking up the scanner, guys, I'm gonna show you where the OBD2 port is in the FRS. And it's just free walling it here in the corner underneath the dash panel. And it's interesting enough because it's not mounted anywhere specifically. It's literally just hanging here. I guess it's super accessible. It would probably be a lot more accessible than the Mercury Cougar or a Toyota Supra where it's actually mounted onto the dash panel and it has its own little insert. But yeah, that's where it's at and that's where we are gonna hook this up to. So I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna leave my camera here. Just to kind of make it a little easier. Hopefully we can kind of get rid of that glare, but all right, so. and you see how it just lights up immediately when you click it up. No, All right, so we are at the main menu. And from the main menu, we are going to click system status. And that is gonna send us to additional menu options where one of them is TPMS. We're gonna click enter. We're gonna hit yes, because that is the vehicle we are working with today and it's gonna load it's gonna load so it says scion tpms code c2123 current transmitter id3 not received main let's see history transmitter okay so Now, let's look that up. Let's see what exactly does C2123 signify for this. After looking into the code C2123, this code only popped up for one of two reasons. If we look at the wheels here that are currently mounted onto the FRS, we can see that these are not the original OEM wheels that come with the car. There is a high chance that this car went to a tire shop to switch them out and they did not install the tire pressure monitor sensor back into the new wheels and tires. Another possibility is the antenna or transmitter is out in one or more sensors and it has to be replaced. Fun fact, most TPMS sensors can be rebuilt. The kits can be found online or most tire shops have them. So in this case, when all sensors are back in place or replaced, either the dash light will disappear on its own or then I can use my Nova 5610 to reset the code. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.